Hey everyone, Val here, and it's time for my weekly weigh-in and update. So I am going to be reading from my book, Life is Long, um, and it has some really good tips in here for health and fitness and um, mental health. And last week we read about the breathing, to breathe through stress, um, and I have been really working on that this week. And every time I try to start to get stressed out, I'll do my breathing, and it seems to help. <clears throat> so this week we're going to try the Chuckle Prescription, and this is Chapter 34. <clears throat> so it says, Don't laugh, but research shows that laughter helps you live longer. In particular, laughter has been shown to boost the immune system, increase natural killer cell activity in the blood, increase free radical scavenging uh, capacity in saliva, lower levels of stress hormone, and control and reduce pain levels. All right, another perk to giggling, a study from the Foundation of the Advancement of International Science in Japan showed that laughter seems to lower levels of a dangerous protein involved in the progression of diabetes nephropathy, nep nephropathy, nephropathy and leading cause of kidney failure. Oh, so we can help with the lowering the proteins for that. Okay, another amazing laughter perk, laugh laughing can reduce inflammation the culprit of a wide range of diseases such as arthritis to cancer. As a result, laughter can help reduce anti uh, can help reduce an, uh, age related chronic diseases which are frequently caused by inflammation. So, wow, did y'all know that? I didn't know that. Um, so yeah, I guess we need, all need to laugh a little bit more. Uh, maybe we'll have healthier joints and I don't know. Let's uh, let's find reasons to laugh this week, I guess. Uh, it says, funny but true story about laughter. Study results published in rheumatology showed a significant drop in blood levels of key inflammatory compounds after rheumatoid arthritis patients watched a funny movie. Huh. Scientific proof that laughter is good medicine. Researchers in Indiana State University recorded amounts of what they called uh, mirthful laughter and found that levels of interleukin-6, a, psycho, a psychokine that plays a central role in inflammation, dropped significantly in arthritic, arthritis patients, but not in a comparison group. The anti-inflammatory effects have also been shown to last for 12 hours after the laughter has subsided. Hmm. Your assignment for the week? Do things that make you laugh. Uh, Alright, what do y'all think? Um, you think that helps? You think laughter helps? Uh, maybe if you are suffering from arthritis and uh, you want to try this out, watch a funny movie, see if that helps out, see if the uh, inflammation has gone down. Um, I'm going to try to remember that. So if I'm ever like feeling like I have inflammation, watch a funny movie or something that will make you laugh. Y'all let me know what you think. Have you heard this before or uh, do you think it will work? Put some comments in the comment section below. So now I know you're waiting for the weigh-in. How did I do this week? Well, let me tell you what I started doing again. I used to count my calories, and I used my fitness pal on my phone. And I got away from doing that when I switched phones. I never downloaded it back on. I haven't really been paying attention to calories or intake or any of that. I'm struggling within the same few pounds. Um, go on vacation, gain the pounds come off vacation, try to lose them again, go up and down and up and down. So I've loaded my fitness pal back onto my phone. Um, it has some really cool new features. 
uh, where you can scan the barcodes and I was been doing that for the last couple of days I just started again on my fitness pal yesterday you can scan the barcode it'll tell you how much a serving is and how much calories there are in the serving um, so I have been doing that I'm tracking my calories I put in my weight and my height and it told me I should have uh, 1570 somewhere around there calories per day so I'm tracking my food so I'm going to start that and see how that works for the week. Um, so last week I was at 204.6 and today I weighed in at, drum roll please, 203.2 which is a loss for the week of 1.4. I have tried very hard this week to eat healthier. Um, not that I don't eat healthy. I think I do and try to stay away from the fats and stuff. My problem is the snacking. I've tried to cut back on my snacking or if I do snack to eat something a little bit healthier. Um, <clears throat> so I think that that's paid off with the the one pound, 1.4 pound loss. Um, I'm going to continue to track my food, my calories and see how that works for the week and I am at 203.2. My goal, my first goal is to get under 200 again. So, and it's been, it's probably been a couple years since I've been under 200 pounds. Because I'm looking back at my year. Um, this page, this is my year. And I never got under the 200 pounds. Oh, yes, I did. At one point, I was at 199.8. That was my lowest this year. Or this past year, within the t last 12 months. So, I want to get to that and I want to keep going. Um, my ultimate goal is around 170. <clears throat> Let's see how I do this week coming up. Let me know how you've done. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you have a video update. Um, let me know that also so I can go check out your channel. And... Uh, Let's see if we can get under 200 or if I can get under 200 within the next, uh, like within this month anyway. Because we're in April now. So, happy April everybody. Let me know how you're doing. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. To keep up with all of my updates. And I will catch you all on the next video. Have a great week. Laugh. Laugh a lot. Um, and stay healthy. Bye now. Mm-hmm.